now let us study about some use of polaroids okay so we learned about polarizer analyzer you now so just take only one sheet okay the polarizer and let's see where we use it so we'll see first one first point here it's used in goggles okay we've seen that uh, some of the people will wear cooling glasses okay so those will contain polarized okay usually they will restrict the light rays to vibrate only in vertical direction okay then cameras well in camera lenses they'll use the polarized to avoid the glare okay sometimes light will glare no like most of glare is due to horizontal vibrations only that will be reduced okay by using polarized okay next one is to take 3d pictures we can take 3d dimensional pictures that's called as holography okay hologram to take the uh, 3d photos we'll use this polaroids okay third one to improve contrast in old oil paintings okay so in old oil paintings to improve the contrast it means to show the difference between darkness and brightness we use polaroids okay then next one to predict optical stress analysis or used used in optical stress analysis okay we can see how much an object is bent okay how much stress it has by using polaroids next one is it's used in window glasses to control the light intensity especially aeroplanes there will be window there okay one window will be fixed another window we can rotate it okay so if we rotate the window we can control the light in intensity okay that contains polaroids there okay a polarization analyzer like that way the next one is polarizer is used as a needle to read or write compact discs okay so polarizer is used in uh, compact discs sir cds okay, to read or write the information next one in liquid crystal displays okay lcd in lcd tv or in calculator also you can see that it contains a polaroid okay that will change the light ray vibration and then we can see the information on screen okay so these are some of the use of polaroids okay thank you for watching